Welcome to the Solid Canyon University channel. In this video, we'll be continuing our series on the tool axis control options inside of a simultaneous five axis milling tool path. This video, we'll be talking about tilted through lines. So tilted through lines is basically controlling the angle of the tool without using something like the surface normal or one of the axes. You're literally just choosing the lines in a sketch to control the angle of the tool. So again, I'm using my parallel cuts in the Z direction. And under tool axis control, I have it set to tilted through lines. Once you do that, it opens up this lower section here where it's asking you what lines you'd like to use. And I went ahead and I sketched some 3D lines there. You can see that lines one and three are basically just about maybe 10 degrees off of the vertical. And lines two and four are maybe about 45 degrees. So there's some big changes there. And the reason for this particular option is, again, you want to control not just the toolpath um, by surface normal, which would be consistent along all the surfaces as a perpendicular surface to a perpendicular vector to each surface, or controlling it using X, Y, and Z, because again, those could be constant throughout the whole part. You might want to actually change the angle of the tool as you go along the part. This could be because maybe the angle of the tool needs to avoid colliding with a fixture. Maybe the angle of the tool at a certain point um, just needs to go around other features. So there might be something where as you go along the cut, you need to angle the tool a little differently. So you could draw these lines to represent the tool vector. And then when you come here, you choose them. Now, tilt through has three options. And the best way to understand that is actually maybe to even look at the help menu. So, all lanes weighted, all lines weighted by distance pretty much means that as it goes along, it's going to try and approximate those lines, but more or less, it's going to just try and stay consistent as it goes along. So those are more like a guide. Always use closest to lines allows you to actually at the point near those lines to be exactly at the vector that you've chosen. And in between, kind of a blend. And when you choose closest to lines, you actually get this option here to tell it what actually counts as closest. So in this case, I actually told it two inches. So as it goes along, it's actually looking at my vectors. And then just to finish off the look, finish off, finish off the look at the uh, the help menu is always closest to surface. And these ones basically just allows you to tilt as defined, but then otherwise it's just um, it might not use it or it might not. Again, these some of these are really dependent on the geometries you choose. So the tilt lines you actually draw in and the surfaces themselves. So let's take a look at my setup here. I have those four lines at 10 degrees and 45 degrees, so big difference. If we take a look at the host CAD, again, let's just get this, this multi-view here. And I'm just gonna step through this code. So you can see from the top view in the bottom left corner, and then the two side views on the top there, that different angles are being taken at different sides. So as it goes along, closest to one of my sketches, it's gonna get that 10 degrees. As it gets closer to the 45, you can see that it bows down to the 45. So this one, the more sketches you add, the more angles you can take. And you can really angle it as it goes along. And it's all driven by the sketch lines. Any questions of this or any else from SolidCam, just give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts and your questions via the ticket system at SolidCamSupport.com. And stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel and the videos in this 5-axis series. Thanks for watching.